guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am here with another process video and this one is for Wild Whisper Designs. And so I am playing with a bunch of leftovers from the project that I shared with you guys last week. And these are from the Crazy Motivated Collection, which was the January release. And so I have two 3x4 photos of my daughter and she is doing this like indoor rock climbing thing. We went to this new like indoor play center um, over spring break. And they had this huge rock wall that she wanted to climb. And so because I knew in my two pictures, there's a whole lot of cream. <clears throat> and so the photos would not really work on a light color background because they're going to be very washed out. So that's why I decided to grab a black sheet of cardstock and make that my background instead. Because that's really going to help with those photos that are on a really light color. It's going to help them to pop. And so I had a couple of different pattern papers that I wanted to use. And like I said, these were both leftovers, so I didn't have full sheets of either one of them. Um, but I wanted to make them kind of triangular sections. And I didn't want the sections to be even. Because if you look at the rock climbing wall, everything is very uneven. And so I wanted my sections to also kind of mimic that and be uneven. And so I am just working through where those sections are going to go. So I have the one red pattern paper that's going to be over there on the left. And then the green one has words that say things like stronger, braver, kinder, healthier, unstoppable, all along the bottom. And I had a couple of little cards here that say sl um, slow progress is better than no progress. And I wanted to try and get that on this layout. Um, but it's not going to make the cut. And so you'll see that in a few minutes. So I'm trying to get those little word strips to work. But the way they're positioned on the card, they need to be on a certain side of the layout. And I wanted them to be on the other side of the layout. So you're going to see me stick them over there because I really like them there. Um, but I go to the die cut ephemera pack and I find that there is the same exact words already pre-cut out in the same colors. And then so I can make them work on that side. So kind of having that idea in the back of my head and having that card sitting up there, knowing that's something I wanted to do with it, kind of helped lead the direction of the layout. And so I know that I want to use these little banners. And I have that little phrase along the bottom, and I'm going to change that out. That one says, I am so motivated. Uh, there's another one in the ephemera pack that says, crazy motivated. And I'm going to switch to that one here in a little bit. And the main reason that I am doing that is because the one I just had on there that says, I am motivated is two lines and it's shorter. The one that you're going to see I switched to is one line, so it's longer. And so it just fits better in that particular space. So if you're not happy with kind of how your die cut or how your phrase is fitting, try switching it out or moving things around or going with a little bit different phrase um, to kind of change the spacing or change the wording. And if you're creating your own title, just altering the words or the combination of the words a little bit can sometimes fill the space differently. Um, so I did put that on some dimensional adhesive and it's going to run below my two photos. And I have that giant word climb over there. And I know in the back of my mind, I want a giant word that's going to run on this diagonal. And I want it to look like it's climbing up the page because this is an indoor rock climbing adventure. And I also know that I want it to be a really bold color. And so right now, it's just kind of hanging out over there because I know that that's where it's going to go. And I want to use this little border strip that says progress and have that kind of run up this green section to just kind of show like the movement and the progress of her climbing up the wall. And so I'm going to grab my purple tape and I'm going to tape this word, which I just printed off my computer. So I found a font that I liked because I wanted a nice, clean, bold title. And then off screen, I went ahead and used that as a template to punch holes and to stitch that title. And I used a really bright yellow thread because that's going to bring in the yellow that I have, like the small yellow elements on the page. But if you look closely at the photos, especially in the close ups, you'll see that the rocks in the background are also all yellow. And so it was a really good way to kind of bring out that yellow because there's not a whole lot of yellow on this page. I am going to go to the fandom pack here and grab one piece of flare that is just a wood veneer with a whole bunch of stars on it. And I'm going to add it to that little cluster of tags. And that's going to be the only thing that I pull out of fandom, which is the new collection. Um, because I am hoarding so much of it. I love it so much. I'm having a hard time using it, but it's going to happen. 
there are going to be Harry Potter pages coming soon. So I hope you like this one using Crazy Motivated. The links to all the products are down in the box below as well as the design team code to get you a discount and I'll be back to see you soon. Bye!